tragedy struck this evening as a local man leaped onto Highway 4 in Chioda Ward, where he was hit by a truck. Leave me alone. I said, leave me alone. I said, leave me alone, goddammit! Just leave me be. Tragedy struck this evening as a local man leaped onto Highway 4 in Chioda Ward, where he was hit by a truck. <sighs> hey, Tachibana! If you're in there, say something! <laughs> Tachibana! Hey! Stop, Yamato. Let's just leave him be. <sighs> God, just stop already. Just leave me alone, damn it. You destroy it. And in doing so, you've completely changed the course of someone's life. I couldn't protect it. I couldn't protect him. But I'd still be happy to be a sub-leader or something. Huh? Like I said, we need to create a place for Saki to return home to. Because she's our leader. Always has been. Always will be, no question. But in times like this, when she's absent, I'll take over her duties as the team's sub-leader. Deal? Okay, I think I like that a lot. Then I'm not gonna let you guys down. Well, at least until Saki's back, then I can be a disappointment again. You're getting a little too excited. We should all get a little too excited. Now I'm even more excited to keep on working with you guys. Some leader I am. Oh, shut up! I'm all talk. When the chips are down, I can't protect anyone or anything. And it's all because I'm half-assing this. I don't think I ever learned how to be a full ass. So I'm done. I'm through. I'm gonna go back to living my life the way it was before any of this crap began. The unfettered, undemanding life of a neat. Enjoying the heck out of this eternal Sunday until the end of time. Having a life wasn't working out for me anyway. Go away! Huh? Go right ahead. Just open it. Is this really alright, though? I certainly don't mind. Mind? Mind, damn it! I can escape through the veranda. I really don't want to see anybody right now. I need to get as far away as I can. Nobody's gonna miss me anyway. You! Yes, you, Measter! Let me take guide you to your destiny! You! Sorry, but I'm not in the mood. Not in the mood? But why? Just... stuff. Well, if you're feeling perplexed, come on into Nyan Dreamin' and relax. In honor of its grand opening,
thing, drinks are only 222 yen. It's a outrageous bargain. There's no way it wouldn't turn your kitty cat brown right upside down. Grand opening, huh? Uh, is there a problem with that? What was I even doing back then? Back when I first realized today was on loop and started freaking out. Yeah. That's right. I came here. Then Saki found me. But now even Saki's gone. Hey! Huh? Sorry to bug you out of nowhere, but would you mind if I asked you something a little... weird? Me? Yeah, you. Have we... ever met before? Yeah, I don't think so. You must be mistaking me for someone else. I get that a lot. Am I? Real sorry about that. I've just had the weirdest sense of deja vu lately, and I just can't seem to shake it. I just get these vague memories in my head every now and then. Just for a split second, then poof, they're gone. It's because I destroyed it. Hmm? You just got this sour look on your face. Are you doing okay? That's a big question. I mean, don't you worry about me. I'm not in distress or nothing. Just a little deja vu. I thought I recognized you. To be honest, seeing you has actually lifted my spirits a bit. No idea why, but it did. Huh? It's real weird. Up until recently, just seeing a young person like you would irritate me. Every kid's face I saw made me realize how much Akihabara has changed. And that's always made me bitter. My Akihabara's in Audio Town. We didn't have all this anime and idol nonsense that you youngsters are into. So I was never great at interacting with young people. Especially with them walking around like they own the place. They got me so heated that for a while, I kind of deluded myself into thinking Akiba could go back to how it was. But that isn't me anymore. Now, I feel a lot more at peace. As you know who said, the times, they are a change in. The next generation will make their own new era. I only just realized that. Somewhere along the line, I turned into a real curmudgeon. I'm hoping that's all fixed now. Did you say fixed? <laughs> Look at me rambling on to some strange kid. Sorry about that. Oh no, not at all. Thanks for humoring a pathetic old man. And letting him yammer on like this. But from here on out, I'm cheering you youngsters on. Akihabara was built on youth and spark. Do her proud. Make it an even greater town than it already is. One everyone can love. Anyway, I'll see you around, kiddo. Wait, did I do that too?
Right here's where Mippity's delusion took over. Hold on. Isn't that... Mm, it's not right. Yeah, that's gotta be him. Nobody's selling M Mippity Mop goods. Not a soul. Gah! Watch where you're going, Goggles. S sorry. I'll live. W wait. Huh? What? I, I know you! I you're... Been a while, huh? H hello. How's it hanging? Uh, um... Hmm? What is it? Did something... happen? Huh? You just look so... sad. I'm not the sad one here. W what do you mean? Well, you know, aren't you sad, Megane? Now that Mippity's event is over? I mean, you have realized her event was all fake by now, right? Fake, huh? To me, it was as real as real can be. And I had so much fun attending it. Never seen somebody say so much fun with such a sad look in their eye. I'd be lying if I claimed I wasn't sad. But I I'm glad things worked out the way they did. But why? Well, b because Mippity was saved. She was able to go back to being the real Ryu Mimose. And I want to see her build herself back up. I want to watch her grow as a performer and become just as big again. Even though I know, I eventually, she'll leave Akihabara behind. Where will she call home? Zap Tokyo? The Japan Wushu Stadium? Maybe the Saitama Hyper Arena? I just want to see her sparkle on the big stage. Really sparkle. You know? You really love her, don't you? I do. But I worry. I want her to spread her wings and fly. But I know when she does, she'll fly far away. But still, but still, but still, I think that might be what's b best for her. I think I want that for her. I want her to climb those stairs one by one. The stairs of her own Cinderella story. One step at a time. At the pace she's most comfortable with. And I'll be rooting for her every step she takes. Which is why I'm glad things turned out this way. For my sake, but more importantly, for Mippity's. Interesting way to look at it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm still on the hunt for Mippity merch. If we meet again on the old dusty trail, let's take a moment to lock eyes and catch up on old times. Godspeed. Could it have been a good thing that we destroyed her delusion then? This is right around where Cannon first showed up, isn't it? The infamous pink-caped urban legend himself. How much time did we lose chasing after him? We lost Moe's maid delusion, too. My word! If it isn't Master Asahi... Hey, Nana. What's the matter? You have such a despondent look on your face. It's unlike you, Master Asahi. Tell me, is something wrong? Has something unpleasant happened to you? Unpleasant's one way to put it. Tell me what happened. It's not important. Well, I know that when I can't bring myself to smile, I move my body. It's the best medicine there is. If you've got the energy to move, maybe. If I were you, I'd run across the whole of Akihabara. I'm sure you'd discover lots of great things that way. All sorts of shops and people. Akihabara really is a town full of excitement and wonder. That's why I love it so much. The people who live here, too. They all give me energy and lift my spirits. This whole town is like a dream. Like someone's delusion of a utopia. Sorry, did you say delusion? That's right. This weird hodgepodge of a town isn't like anything you'd find anywhere else in the world. 
It's like someone dreamed up a modern-day utopia, and that dream became real. Oh, that's what you meant. Anyway, Master Asahi, I'm sorry to cut our talk short, but I have to get back to the cafe. I hope you cheer up, though. Such a sullen look hardly becomes you, Master. You know, I love this crazy hodgepodge of a town, too. This is near where Yamato tried to hide his otaku nature from us. How even? Beyond the blackest black, the dawn shall glimmer, heralding the start of a new age. The light shall warm countless scars. A sign was not all in vain. Ends are beginnings, yet beginnings too shall be ends. Though light and dark may intertwine, only one may wrap the earth. May a warm light envelop thee on thy journey. Of all the times to need Yamato, yeah, I got none of that. Radio Lakaikon looks the same as ever. The situation with Ko was the hardest of all. And in the end, even though I promised, I couldn't protect her delusion. Master Asahi. Ah, uh, Yoshino! Please wait. <laughs> you may run if you wish, but please hear me out before you do. <sighs> I wanted to thank you for including my mistress in your activities. She's been a Twitter with stories about you and your friends since this whole adventure began. In truth, I may even be a bit thankful that her delusion was nullified, as it's opened so many doors for her. Though I'll never let the mistress hear me say that. But that place was so important to her. And now she's found a place of equal importance, hasn't she? Uh... Now then, I'll let you continue your running unperturbed. I must get back to the mistress anyway. We're to await your return together. God, what is it already? Are delusions helpful? Are they harmful? What are they?
If only this delusion hadn't been shattered. If only I hadn't destroyed it, then that man would still be... Wow. Someone's looking regretful today. Hello again. Don't tell me. You've got a lot to work through, so you've stalled here to deal with it all on your own, right? Well... You're just like Akihabara itself. You've lost me. Think about it. It's refusing to acknowledge that there's a tomorrow. Refusing to move forward. Stuck in place. Sounds an awful lot like what you're doing right now, doesn't it? Huh. But the difference is, you can move forward, Asahi. You have the power to change things. I don't have any power. Oh, sure you do. If you act fast, you'll still make it in time. In time for what? Maybe you aren't so much like this town after all. You've been walking through it, but it's been standing still. Which means you can save anyone who's been caught up in that stillness. Do you mean... <laughs> Took you long enough. You're right. That's right. If this day is repeating, then technically I can still save him. There's a good boy. Thank you so much. Farewell, Asahi. Good luck. You can still make it, Asahi. I know you can save him. I know you've got it in you. You saved another him back in the day, after all. You went up to him when he was all alone and showed him the path that was laid out before him. Sis, I made a friend today. You were there for him, Asahi. And being there enabled him to move ahead with his life. It's over. It's all over. My wife and daughter certainly aren't coming home anytime soon. There's nothing left for me anymore. Hey, sir! Who... who are you? You don't want to do anything rash. Please! W what I know things seem as bad as they can get right now, but I'm sure they'll get better if you just give them a chance. W what do you know? You're just a kid. I don't know a whole lot. I really don't. But I do know that you have to keep on living. Okay. Say I do. Are you gonna take on all my debts? Well... That's what I thought. I'm just a waste of space and money. Nothing left to do but die. But you can't die. Please don't do this. I'm begging you. I just wish I could have seen my wife and daughter one last time. I don't even know where they are. Keiko Hahabu, age 46. Works as a grocery store clerk. Huh? Sayaka Hahabu, age 17, 11th grader in high school, and a member of the tea ceremony club. Yamato, Mippity! And right now you can find them both at the Grand Palace Hotel in Ochanomizu. Really? If you truly wish to see them so badly, you now have the information you need to do so. Keiko, S Sayaka, wait for me. I'm coming to see you both right now. What are you all doing here? <laughs> We're here to put things right. He'll see his family, and his thoughts of suicide will fade away. Was hell tracking him down, though. But still, but still, it was also super duper fun. Like we were detectives or something. You're paying the hotel fees, though. Oh, and don't worry about the next loop. 
From tomorrow on, I intend to email him the location of his wife and daughter. I don't care if I have to change my routine. It's still much too disturbing to have that play out each time around. It never even dawned on me. You guys were all out there fighting for this man's life while I was just trying to run away from reality. Honestly, that's all I was doing, too. Yeah, same here, I guess. Not me. Asahi, you can't keep blaming yourself for this. <sighs> Come now, back to my place. We'll celebrate our prodigal Asahi's return to the fold. My return? The return of our acting leader. Your treat, Tachibana. From now on, you're forbidden from distancing yourself from us by any more than 50 meters. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, everyone. It's all right. I understand. Me too. No big. <laughs> I'm so tired of hearing that. So, shall we be off then? Let's go. Oh! What is it? Sorry, but you all go ahead. I'll meet you there. I just... I have somebody I need to thank first. Hey, Tachibana! <laughs> Ara saw he's clearly back to his old self. Feisty as ever, too. Hey! Now you're looking happier. Um, uh, I want to thank you. Oh, so things went smoothly then? Sure did. Your advice was spot on. Thank you so much. Impressive. But you're the lifesaver. I'm glad I waited for you. Uh, hold up. Why were you waiting for me? Well, maybe not waiting specifically. It's more like I was sitting here, wondering how things had turned out. But every time I had any doubt, I thought to myself, Asahi we're talking about. He'll do fine. I know I didn't tell you I'd be waiting for you here or anything, but let's just say I'm glad you're here to see me. Oh, uh, well, it only seems polite. I believe I told you before that if today just keeps repeating, we'll never be able to make a promise for tomorrow, and that would suck. A promise for tomorrow. Well, that was quick. Two o'clock by the FOSS map on Main Street. Go to bed now so you don't oversleep. I'm not your mother, he says. What am I, a grade schooler the night before a field trip or something? Come on. That's right. This is exactly where I said I'd meet Misaki. If only I'd actually kept my word and shown up when I was supposed to. Something wrong? Oh, sorry. My mind was just elsewhere for a second. You look straight up haunted. Although if you ask me, I'd say you're still a little young for that. I don't know if I'm haunted, really. Just... Well, whatever it is, just spit it out. I'm happy to lend an ear to your grievances. Consider it a bonus thank you. <clears throat> Come now, youngster! Throw whatever you've got at me! These old bones can take it and stay standing! I, uh, don't think that's... Uh... Hmm? What, have you been fighting with a friend, perhaps? Huh? How did you know? Ha ha ha! A woman has her ways. That's not an answer to my question. <laughs> so, what is it you're fighting about? Honestly, I don't even know. Makes sense. You're the kind of guy who wouldn't even know when he didn't know something. I don't even know where to begin with that. It's just a joke. 
or is it? Who knows? One can never truly know what's in another's heart. Well, you're a shiny example of that. So, you might as well just throw your hands up in defeat. Aren't you supposed to be helping me? Sorry, sorry. It is important to try to understand what the other person is feeling, sure. Even if you don't feel it yourself. But that alone won't get you anywhere. So, what can I do? You need to look inside yourself. And make sure you've come to grips with your own feelings as well. Do I not already have a grip on those? I'm talking about the feelings you hold deep within yourself. And that can get pretty scary. You'll have to come face to face with parts of yourself you might not like. Hateful parts. Or embarrassing parts. Strip your partner bare. And strip yourself bare as well. Just let it all hang out. What the? <laughs> Having dirty thoughts already, are you? Interesting. No, I didn't. And this is a dude we're talking about anyway. Well, if it's two guys fighting, that's simple then. You just get all naked. Again with the nakedness? You get all naked, and then you duke it out. Duke it out until you can both see eye to eye. Duke it out? Not try to make up? That's right. Fight till you're all fought out. If you make up with one another before you're on the same page, then you haven't really made up at all. You two just have to take it all off and smash against each other until you're totally simpatico. And once you're seeing things from each other's perspectives, you'll be friends to the end, guaranteed. Then you can meet up on the riverbank in the glow of dusk and be all like, Wanna dance, punk? No, do you? <laughs> what the heck? Boys have it made. You just fist fight a little, then plop down on the grass and talk about what girls you like. <laughs> I think you put a little too much thought into this, but thanks. I actually kind of get what you're saying. So I was able to help you out a little? In a weird way, yeah. You were. Then my work here is done. I'd say it's about time I head home and get wasted. Don't drink too much now. Oh, I will. See you around, Asahi. I think I'll do just as she suggested and try smashing myself right into him. Sorry to be tardy to the party. Tardy is right. Ugh, waiting for someone has never been so exhausting. Welcome back. You're late, Dingus. Sorry about that, Pinkoon. Sorry doesn't cut the mustard here. Well, now that we've reunited, what do you all say to a toast? Before that, there's something I'd like to know, if you know. Akemi, do you have any idea what the Freedom Fighters have been doing for the last two days? Well, this line of questioning was unexpected. Two more delusions have cropped up, but they've gone and destroyed them both. I'm sorry. We tried to stop them, but we couldn't. <laughs> Probably because our fearless leader was cowering in his apartment the whole time. I'll cop to that. It's true. This is all my fault. I haven't taken the Freedom Fighters nearly seriously enough, and that's why we haven't been able to stop them. Do you intend on stopping them now, then? Or will you continue nullifying delusions? I don't know. Huh? I said I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to do is here. While I was gone, I was thinking long and hard about delusions. Are they worthy of our protection? Or should we seek their destruction? <laughs> and? And that's just it. I don't know. Come on. You were supposed to come back to us a changed man. Get it together. I'm serious. I really don't. Some people have been saved by the encroachment of delusions, and others have been saved by their nullification, which led me to a conclusion. Okay, so what's the damn conclusion? The conclusion is I don't have a gosh dang clue. 
But there's one burning question that I can't get out of my head. What is the proper course for Akihabara? And is it really so wrong to glean happiness from a delusion? That's two questions. Either way, I've decided the only proper course of action is to fight the Akihabara Freedom Fighters. Their methodology is flawed. But with it, they can't possibly save everyone there is to save. People will be left behind. So I'm going to put everything I've got into stopping them. I don't know about all this. Don't you start. But if you're planning to exterminate the Freedom Fighters, count me in. Me too. Just because I think you're right, Asahi, and I want to save people. Ko? Mibini? I appreciate the support, but I don't want anyone to join me unless they're sure. I'm just speaking my mind. Ah, whatever. You need somebody to back you up anyway. One lonely neat wouldn't last five minutes against those guys. He's got a point. And since you are in need, you should just do the neat thing and be too lazy to stop us joining you. If by some miracle you ever do land a job, though, I hope you'll set aside some money for non-otaku purchases. Huh? Come on, you guys. I bare my soul and you respond with lifestyle tips? Isn't that a little mean? Spare the rod, spoil the asahi! But you're serious about this, aren't you? You're really going to fight? Even though Mizuki is with them? Your childhood friend? Ah, so that's what's got you all so worried. Well, you can rest easy. Next time I see him, I plan to kick his ass. <laughs> oh, to be young again. How about instead of celebrating the return, we toast to good fortune and success in your upcoming battle? Let's do this, everyone. We're going to put a stop to the Akihabara Freedom Fighters once and for all. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Akihabara Freedom Fighters hideout. A delusion scape? Why didn't you tell us about this? Looks like it's already been nullified. It has, but it makes for a convenient hiding spot, doesn't it? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's hit them where they live. Is this really okay, though? I'm not blindsiding these guys, that's fine. But dragging you along with me? Huh. Men don't go back on their word. Uh, the rest of the party is women, you know. But I certainly don't plan on turning back either. Yeah, this is the whole reason I joined up with you guys in the first place. You guys are too good to me. All right, let's clean this place out. Is everybody hiding from me if they have any sense seems like it goes back even farther really looks like it 
Last time I was here, they said they were using that space for storage, so I couldn't check it out. And you think that's where the Freedom Fighters might be cowering right now? Then we better get moving. Yeah. Is everything okay, Pinku? I've got a bad feeling about this place. Oh? Don't know what it is, though. Hey, what's the holdup back there? Oh, sorry. We're right behind you. Come on, Pinkoon. Let's join the others. Gah. You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. Headed into the delusion scape? I will. It's an enemy. Oh dear, that's a lot of foes. But at least you have to like not to like ever Hmm? An enemy draws near. Command. We face a great many times, but we can win Come this. Come and get Don't hot, like hot! Just hot, just! Let's go! 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 Let's go!
As it should be. An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? It's an enemy. Please exercise caution. An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this in cap? It's an enemy! Please, exercise caution. I feel there may be a treasure chest nearby. Hmm? An enemy draws near. Command? I believe there is something of value nearby. Shall we look for it? An enemy trust. Three adversaries. <laughs> no warning. I'll blow you away. Are quite skilled. This party is all about low. I recommend a few. Keep your hands on the I believe there is something of value nearby. Shall we look for it? How shall we handle this encounter? You like this?
An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? It's a door. Shall we open it? An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? It's an enemy! Please, exercise caution. An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? Shall we take a break? Business in the Delusionscape? Please be well prepared. How about we upgrade our PPs while we're here?
clothes shop. Perhaps the mistress would care to try something on. to us. Shall we stock up on items? not to override a sibling's data. It's a clothing store. I have little use for such places personally. It's Mistress Sharako. Has anyone any business with her? Shall we take a look? 